Hey guys, Jeffrey here with your daily Bible upload. I want to thank you for joining us today, and I hope you all have a blessed day. I'll be reading the book of Romans chapter 14 from the NIV. In Romans 14, we'll be reading about the weak and the strong, and understanding of an appropriate behaviors as a Christian. I hope you all will be joining us for chapter 15. And if you are finding value from this, please like to help share the message. And let me know what you think of my video in the comments below. Accept the one whose faith is weak without quarreling over disputable matters. One person's faith allows them to eat anything, but another whose faith is weak eats only vegetables. The one who eats everything must not treat with contempt to the one who does not. And the one who does not eat everything must not judge the one who does, for God has accepted them. Who are you to judge someone else's servant? To their own master, servants stand or fall, and they will stand, for the Lord is able to make them stand. One person considers one day more sacred than another. Another considers every day alike. Each of them should be fully convinced in their own mind. Whoever regards one day as special does so to the Lord. Whoever eats meat does so to the Lord. For they give thanks to God, and whoever abstains does so to the Lord and gives thanks to God. For none of us live for ourselves alone, and none of us die for ourselves alone. If we live we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. For this very reason, Christ died and returned to life, so that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. You then, why do you judge your brothers and sisters? Or why do you treat them with contempt? For we will all stand before God's judgment seat. It is written, As surely as I live, says the Lord, every knee will bow before me, every tongue will acknowledge God. So then each of us will give an account for ourselves to God. Therefore, let us stop passing judgment on one another. Instead, make up your mind not to put any stumbling blocks or obstacles in the way of a brother or sister. I am convinced, being fully persuaded in the Lord Jesus, that nothing is unclean in itself. But if anyone regards something as unclean, then for that person it is unclean. If your brother or sister is distressed because of what you eat, you are no longer acting in love. Do not by your eating destroy someone for whom Christ died. Therefore do not let what you know is God. Therefore do not let what you know is good be spoken of as evil. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Because anyone who serves Christ in this way is pleasing to God and receives human approval. Let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and to mutual edification. Do not destroy the work of God for the sake of food. All food is clean, but it is wrong for a person to eat anything that causes someone else to stumble. It is better not to eat meat or drink wine or to do anything else that will cause your brother or sister to fall. So whatever you believe about these things, keep between yourself and God. Blessed is the one who does not condemn himself by what he approves. But whoever has doubts is condemned 
if they eat, because their eating is not from faith, and everything that does not come from faith is sin. Thank you all for joining us today. I hope you all have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Blessings.